This YCN segment is brought to you by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer. This YCN Sports Wrap special is brought to you by Top Stitch Embroidery, the best for your team and so much more. Hey, welcome back to this special episode of YCN Sports Wrap, focusing on this year's 2017 football team from Fairhaven, Vermont. So before the break, we saw how the Slaters made it all the way to the VPA Division II Finals, where they matched up against the strong Bellows Falls Terriers. This game was a rematch from earlier in the season, when Fairhaven managed to pull out a win by just one point, so the defending champs were definitely out for some revenge. Let's now jump right into the action between the second-seeded Slaters and fourth-seeded Terriers. <laughs> This game played on a brisk Saturday afternoon at Rutland High School was expected to be a tight battle. The defending champion Terriers were hoping to get their strong ground game going with running back Shane Clark and quarterback Logan Coda, while the Slaters planned on using the arm of quarterback Kaluti to move the ball. Fairhaven received the opening kickoff, and number 33 Aaron Sabo moved the ball to about his team's 35-yard line. The Slaters managed to pick up a big gain when Kaluti passed to number 10 Tim Files, who picked up 35 yards. On the very next play, Kaluti ran the ball in himself from five yards out, as the Slaters took an early 6-0 lead just two minutes into the first quarter. On the Terriers opening drive, they had little success moving the ball, as Fairhaven's defense forced a quick punt. The ball then went back and forth as points were suddenly hard to come by. Bellows Falls did manage to march to the 25-yard line, but Fairhaven's defense once again came up big and forced a turnover on downs. The Slaters then opened up their running game, as Sabo soon had a number of big gains. This eventually put Fairhaven at the one-yard line and Kaluti used a QB sneak to score his second rushing touchdown of the day. Fairhaven with a successful extra point took a 13-0 lead just at the beginning of the second quarter. Bellows Falls received the following kickoff and began their next drive at about the 35-yard line. Spencer Clark soon was given the ball and he ran for a big gain which set the Terriers up at Fairhaven's 40. Soon Bellows Falls found themselves at the 25-yard line on fourth down. Fairhaven's number 11 Drew Eddy made a big tackle on Clark which forced a turnover on on downs, further frustrating the defending champ's usually strong offense. Just three plays later, Kaluti made a short pass to an open Brandon Parker, who caught the ball and sprinted 78 yards through a hole in the secondary for the touchdown. A failed extra point made the score 19 to zero halfway through the second quarter. Bellows Falls moved the ball more effectively on their next drive, but once again, they were forced to punt. As Fairhaven's defense continued to hold the Terriers off the scoreboard. On the very next play, Sabo was given a handoff, and he made a spin move and found a hole on the left side of the pile. He then sprinted nearly to the end zone and was tackled at the three yard line. This set up another keeper for Kaluti, who ran three yards for his fourth touchdown of the first half. A successful extra point made the score 26 to zero with just under four minutes remaining in the quarter. Bellows Falls' last drive before halftime only managed to get to about their own 35-yard line. Fairhaven's secondary made big stops to force another punt, which gave the Slaters a 26-0 lead at the break. To start off the third quarter, the Terriers' offense seemed more poised, as soon Coda found Shane Clark for a 32-yard touchdown. The ball was batted around by Zach Murray, but Clark somehow came down with it and ran into the end zone for the score. A failed two-point attempt made the score 26-6 with about seven and a half minutes remaining in the third. But Fairhaven would immediately answer when Sabo was once again off to the races. He rushed for a huge gain, putting the Slaters on the 15-yard line. On second down, quarterback Kaluti made another touchdown pass to Parker. This catch made the score 33-6 with six and a half minutes left in the third. 
but the defending champs, now down by 27, weren't about to call it a season. On the Terriers' first play of their following drive, quarterback Griffin Warriaz passed to Shane Clark, who ran down the left sideline, making defenders miss as he ran for a big 62-yard touchdown. This made the score 33-12 with only 20 seconds coming off the clock since the last TD. Bellows Falls needed the ball back if they wanted any chance of winning the title, and that's exactly what they did when freshman Ryan Kelly picked off Kaluti midfield. The Terriers now with some life tried to score a second straight touchdown, but Fairhaven's defense was again up for the challenge as they forced a turnover on downs after a big sack. Bellows Falls now with little room for mistakes stepped up on defense as they forced the Slaters to quickly punt. But Coda on the receiving end of the punt muffed the catch as Fairhaven recovered at the 25 yard line. They quickly moved the ball and scored on a two yard run by Sabo as the Slaters took a big 39 to 12 lead into the final quarter of the season. Bellows Falls now again down by 27 had to score quickly. It took them approximately four minutes to score when Shane Clark ran 40 yards for his third TD of the game. This cut into Fairhaven's lead with a score of 39 to 20, with now only seven minutes remaining in regulation. The Slaters then held the ball and ran time off the clock. The nail in the coffin came with less than two minutes left when Kaluti ran down the right sideline for a 50-yard touchdown. This sealed the win for Fairhaven as the Slaters went on to win the VPA Division II State Football Championship with a final score of 46-20. Kaluti was responsible for a whopping six total touchdowns. He went nine for 17 with 234 yards and two TDs through the air and ran nine times for 71 yards and four touchdowns on the ground. Sabo rushed 25 times, accumulating nearly 250 yards with a touchdown. And Parker racked up more than 100 receiving yards with two scores of his own. Fairhaven amassed nearly 600 positive yards on the day compared to the Terriers' 339. The Slaters won their first Division II football title since 2011. They'll lose a ton of seniors to graduation. But with Sabo, Kaludi, and others returning next fall, look for Fairhaven to be right back in the mix for another D2 championship in 2018. Congratulations to the 2017 VPA Division II football champions, the Slaters from Fairhaven High. What a great year it was, especially capping it all off by scoring 46 points in the title game. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when this special episode of YCN Sports Rep returns, we'll be taking a look at our Player of the Week award winner, brought to you by Top Stitch Embroidery. We'll also be hearing from a number of other Fairhaven players who play big roles in their team's win. We'll be right back, don't go anywhere. <laughs> 